guys, it's Lindsay and welcome back to my channel and to another plan with me. For this plan with me, I'm using the Merbabe kit from Scrub Prince Co. and I'm planning out the week of September 2nd through the 8th. This is my last summer spread. I promise, guys. There is all fall spreads after this, but this is my last summer spread, which is really exciting. I did use some hollow foil with this kit as well as some purple foil, so all of the overlays, like always, are from Scrub Prince Co. And then I just put down some Simply Gilded Washi. Um, I'm going to go ahead and answer a couple of questions. So um, these were questions that were left on my By the Sea plan with me. So if you guys have questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, and I will get to them eventually. Um, so Ice Queen 975 asks, how, to, how do you choose which kit to use when you plan? Do you pick it in advance or spur of the moment? Also, what motifs or color palette do you seem to gravitate to? gravitate to the most for kits. So first question, um, how do you choose which kit to use? That just kind of depends on either what I'm doing or the season. So most of the time it's determined upon the season. So obviously September is the end of like summer. So I use the last summer kit, but any summer it's usually like beachy themed kits or like any summer themed kits. Um, the only like exception for that is when I go on vacation, so I use like a camping themed trip. So it just kind of depends on if I am doing things and what I'm doing and the season. So that's usually how I decide. If there is nothing that I'm doing and it's not like a specific season, I just use one of the anytime kits that's just kind of like neutral colors or like a color palette that kind of matches the season. I'll tend to do that. Um, do you pick it in advance or spur of the moment? I do pick them in advance. I have a whole entire binder that has all of the dates listed, like for which plan with me is for what, and I just stick that um, kit that I'm using for that week into the binder, into the little sleeve in the binder, and that's how I know I'm using it for that key, that week. Oh my gosh, I can't English. I don't know if this is making sense. I'm sorry if it's not, but I do plan them out in advance, and I just have them all labeled with what week I am using that kit. And then, what motifs or color palette do you seem to gravitate to for the most? Honestly, I don't have, like, a certain color palette. I mean, probably I do. I like pastel colored kits, but I also like really bright colored kits. Um, I tend to essentially gravitate towards anything that has pinks, blues, purples, um, anything that's, like, other than, like, greens and, like, weird darker colors. I don't tend to gravitate towards the darker colors purely just because I like color, and then I don't tend to gravitate towards the, like non-colorful kits either because there are a couple of kits that have come out that are like strictly just black and white and I tend to not gravitate towards those either purely just because I like color and I like to see the very bright colors in my planner so I think I tend to gravitate towards more like the pink blues and like the purples and then like pastel colored ones I believe that's the only thing I can think of but, like, honestly, I just gravitate towards ones if I like the kit and I like the art of it. I tend to gravitate towards it. There isn't anything specific that I, like, I'm like, ooh, I, it's this color, so I need to have it. It's purely just because I like the art in the kit, and that's usually what is, like, the defining factor on whether I buy a kit or not. So, yeah. Um, thank you for asking questions, um, Ice Queen 975 I appreciate it. Again, if you guys have any questions, please leave them, leave them in the comments below, and I will get to answering all of the questions hopefully eventually. Um, as I go through these plan with me, I am going to be answering questions. So, yeah, moving on to the actual plan. So on Monday, it was Labor Day, so I put down a quarter box and then a hollow script, um, holiday script from... Uh, Scroll Prince Co. to mark Labor Day. And then I did sleep in, so I put down a fancy label. I think I forgot that I had washi in this kit because I totally could have used washi. But I put down a fancy label and then an Arctic Paper Studio Sleep In sticker. And then I did have a YouTube binge, so I took a Paper and Milk Moro to mark the YouTube binge. Underneath that, I took a Wonton and a Million Steamy to mark that I did a face mask, which I kind of need to do a face mask now. My face has been really dry since the winter, since it got really cold. I really, really need to do a face mask, but I did a face mask on this day, and then I did have a little bit of meditation, so I took a fox and cactus girl that is meditating for, meditate for an hour. I was going to write meditation session, but I ran out of room, so we got meditate for an hour. You can see me, like, trying to, like, figure out what to write there too uh because I originally put meditation session but I then changed it and put meditate for an hour and my meditation does not change it's usually only for an hour so yeah my dogs are like going crazy I don't know why 
I think they're, like, playing with each other, but, like, they're going crazy. If you hear that, I apologize. Um, moving on underneath that, I took a heart icon. I wanted to use as much hollow foil as possible, purely just because I don't intend to use a lot of hollow foil. Why are you guys so loud? Now you're in here. Hi. No, go on. I need to finish the voiceover, then I'll let you outside. Go in. Okay, or we're gonna sit in here. Okay, okay, you just can't make noise, bubby. Yeah. Hi, you're a cutie. Anyway, I wanted to use as many hollow foiled items as possible, purely just because I don't use a lot of foil. So I did use the heart icon to mark that I need to submit my new ongoing form, which this is essentially my schedule. Um, I did change up my days, so I'm still working, um, or I'm still off Monday, Wednesdays at this point, but I did change my days to Tuesday, Wednesday, so I would have, like, days off in a row. Um, but... I needed to submit that ongoing form, so I used the icon for that. And then last but not least, I took a fancy label as well as a Toy Story script from Scribble Prince Co. And then a Once More With Love Buzz Lightyear to mark that I watched Toy Story. Dude, I think you just laid on my shoe. But okay. Yep, he's, he's laying on my shoe. Okay, moving on to Tuesday. So I put down the work label, and then I needed to delete some emails, not on my, like, work email, on my normal email. So I used a icon, again, from Scribble Prince Co. to mark that. Underneath that, I took a munchkin. Sir, what are you doing? I took a munchkin um, that is baking some cookies to mark that I baked cookies, which I haven't done in a while. Ooh, the really cheesy sugar cookies that have, like, the little, like, reindeer and, like, Santa. Or not Santa. Um, actually, I think there might be a Santa one. Or, like, the um, snowman little design on it. Those are the bomb for Christmas. I kind of want those now. Um, anyway, I feel like I always end up, like, talking about food. I'm like, I want food, which is generally me. Anyway, underneath that, I took a emoji with a candle to mark that I lit a leaves candle, which is funny because I am feeling in the fall mood, but I used a summer kit, but you know, it's fine. We were in the fall mood. We were getting there. We were almost at fall. The next spread, I promise, is a fall spread. So we were, we were close. I was just in the fall mood for some reason during this spread. And then underneath that, I did play with the puppies for a little bit. The puppies are my dogs, if anyone didn't know that. Um, but I used a munchkin with a dog to mark that. And then I did have a sciatica flare-up, which was very painful, so I used an emoji to mark that. Um, I don't know if I ever talked about this. I think I did, I think, but, well, that plan with, plan with me should have gone up a while ago. That was a long time ago. Um, <clears throat> I'm assuming I talked about it, but I have been, like, I had a really bad, like, thing of sciatica, um, maybe, like, earlier this year. I don't remember exactly when. Um, but I had a pretty, like, bad pain in my lower back that went all the way down my leg. I couldn't move for, like, three days. I was in so much pain, um, and it just, it hurt so bad. So every now and then now, like, it's okay now, but every now and then I get, um, like, sciatica flare-ups, which is, like, a little bit of pain, and then it goes away. Um, but I got a sciatica flare-up on this day, apparently, and felt the need to mark it. And then underneath that, I took a half box as well as a paper milk moro to mark that I had so much anxiety. This is, like, one of those sadder, like, morrows. Um, just because, like I said, I mark the positive things, I mark the negative things, and this one was a negative thing, unfortunately, because we had some anxiety, but that's okay. Um, moving on to Wednesday, I'm not entirely sure why I was sitting there for so long. Oh, because I didn't grab this icon for some reason. I don't know what happened. That or I lost it, one of the two, but I didn't have the phone icon. So, I had to go and grab it. Um, but I put down a bill due that is from Squirrel Prints Co. That is not from the kit, but I put that down. And then I used the phone icon to mark annoying spam calls because they were calling me in the morning when it was super early and it's obnoxious and I hate the spam calls. Like there was one day I think I got five in an hour and I was like, why? Why are you spam calling me? Go away. Um, but yeah, we had some annoying spam calls. And then underneath that I took a coffee cup. This is from Barney and Moon, which I'm not 100% sure if it's still a shop anymore. If it is, I will... Um, like link it as always down below but I used that coffee cup to mark a Starbucks run and then I used a Target munchkin to mark a Target run. Not entirely sure what I got at Target but we got some things at Target apparently. Um, moving down underneath that I took a credit card icon again from Scope Prince Co. All of these icons are from Scope Prince Co. If it's not I'll let you know but I used a credit card icon to mark that I ordered new sticker organizer organizers I think this is when I started reorganizing all of, like, my, um, 
what is it called? All of my like character stickers and stuff. I think I ordered that and I think, oh yeah, yeah, because I went to Target and I bought the binders. Yeah. And so I ordered the new little like sticker organizer things off of Amazon. If you guys haven't seen my updated sticker store to go watch that, it's definitely worth it. Also, my pen was running out. So we had to like kind of like it was like glitching. I don't know why this keeps happening. Like it didn't used to happen at the beginning of the year, but for some reason my pens just like skip. I don't know why. And it's not that they're out of ink. They just skip. I'm like, is it just the way I write? Is it the paper? Like what is happening? I don't know. But yeah, um, we ordered new sticker organizers and then underneath that I took a, um, iPad that I cannot think of where that's from off the top of my head. I want to say paper milk, but I don't think so. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Cause I know that Jessica uses these all the time, or at least she used to. I don't know if she still does. And she links things in her photos. Let me see if I can look it up. Hold on. I'm working on it. Because I'm too lazy to get up and find where, like, my actual, um, like, where it's actually from to find the actual sticker. That's a lot of effort. Which, now I'm just getting behind on this plan with me because I'm just, you know, what, like, labbing on trying to find what this thing is from. Oh, I found it. Um, ah, oh, come on. Link it. Uh, she doesn't have it linked. I want to say it's from Paper and Milk. I don't know why I want to say it's from Paper and Milk. I cannot remember for the life of me right now. And I am sorry. But I know that I have linked it before. And she doesn't have any more on here. Okay. Well, I'm getting behind on this plan with me now. But I practiced some calligraphy. I don't know where the iPad is from because I can't remember it off the top of my head. And I apologize. Underneath that, I took a squared off half box or a squared off quarter box I guess and a Rapunzel from Once More With Love or not Once More With Love sorry uh Coffee Monsters Co. to mark a Disney movie night because I did have a Disney movie night and I used Rapunzel because she matched the best. Okay moving on to Thursday so I put down the work label and then I used a fancy label. Oh no I'm thinking of a different kit. I don't know why I said I have washi. I didn't have washi. I'm thinking of a different kit. Um, but, <laughs> sorry, I'm, like, looking at it, I'm, like, why did I not use washi on this one either? Because I didn't have any washi. Um, but I put down the work label, and then I used a fancy label and a payday script that is from Station Stickers. And then underneath that, I used a wonton a million, a steamy to mark a friend's binge, and then an icon. Um, I didn't have any washing machine icons in Hollow, so I just used this one, the star, because it worked. So I used that to mark that I need to wash my costume. And then underneath that, I took a car icon, um, again, from Scribble Prints Co., and used that to mark that I need to get some gas. I'm really curious where this iPad is from. I'm still, like, looking through to see if I can find it, because it's really going to bother me. Kojo, you're scratching, and you're making noise. Yeah, you're making noise. Um, and then underneath that, I took another Paper Milk Moreau to mark that I had boba before work. And then last but not least, I took a half box as well as a fast fox and cactus pastel hair to girl to mark that I worked on my project. You guys know me. I've been working on a project for a while. And I think it's finished, like, in two weeks after this. Yeah, which is exciting. It's almost done. Um, well, like, it's still, like, in the process of, like, working now. But, um, like, for me working on the project itself, it's almost done, which is exciting. I cannot for the life of me find it. This is annoying. Annoying. Um, <laughs> moving on under these, that, this is some quality content that you guys are looking for, isn't it? Um, oh, it is paper milk. I win. I found it. She finally tagged it in one of her photos. Okay. Thank you, Jessica, for tagging things in your photos on your Instagram. Anyway, it is from paper milk. Moving on to Friday. I am such a mess right now. It's fine. I put down a work label and then a Coffee Monsters Co. Um, a Modi to mark that I meal prepped. And then underneath that, I took a Munchkin to mark that I cleaned the bathroom. And then I took another one of those Bardian Moon coffee cups to mark a Starbucks run. Um, underneath that, I took... Oh, I really like this girl. I forgot how pretty this girl is with her hair. Oh my god, it's beautiful. This kit turned out really pretty. I really like the colors in it. It's like a huge contrast too from like this kit to the next spread because I did already film the next spread and oh my god the contrast is insane. Also I wanted to say this. I forgot to say this at the beginning of this video. Something ended up happening last night so I apologize that this video went up late. This was supposed to go up yesterday and it did not because I was a mess and I 
was not able to get this video up earlier. So I apologize in advance for it not being up yesterday, which is when it was supposed to go up. So I'm sorry. It was my mistake. Something came up and I couldn't do it. So yeah. Anyway, moving back to the end of Friday. So I put down a, another icon to mark that I took out the trash. And then it was the first day of the Halloween season at Disney. So I used an angel to mark that purely just because it matched the colors. I didn't want to use like some weird, creepy, like dark character. So I just used the angel because also I wanted to use up a sheet. I have a sheet of like three character stickers and I've never used them, and the angel was on it, and I was like, I'm just gonna use this. It's fine. But I used that to mark the first day of the holiday Halloween season. Kujo, you're so loud. This plan with me voiceover is a mess because of me and because of you. Excuse me, sir. Please stop that. Um, Moving underneath that, I then took a so hot munchkin to mark that I was still incredibly hot and gross. It's fine. Moving on to Saturday and Sunday, I put down the weekend banners. Dude, stop scratching yourself. And then I put down a work label and then another Barney and Moon coffee cup to mark Duncan coffee. I apologize for the annoyance of this voiceover. Sir, please get out of my room. No. <laughs> what? You just want attention. I know, but you're making all the noise and you're distracting me. This is not quality content. No, it's not. I'm being obnoxious right now and I know I am. You're just staring at me, huh? Yeah, okay. Okay, he left. We're good. Okay, I put down... Sorry, guys. I apologize for this voiceover. So I put down a Barney and Moon coffee cup, and then underneath that, I took a munchkin that is exhausted to mark that I was so tired. This is technically an insomnia munchkin. And then I put down a quarter box. No, why are you back? No! It's 12 o'clock. We're almost there. We're almost done. We're, we're almost done. I know. Stop staring at me. Um, but I put down a quarter box and then a emoji that is like angry. No, don't be scratching at me. To mark that we sat in traffic. And then because I sat in traffic, I was late for work. So I used a munchkin to mark that. He is staring at me. I know. Give me five minutes. I'm almost there. No. You're, you're just staring at me. Okay. But I used a munchkin to mark that I was late for work. And then I did have a check-in with Antonio, who is one of my managers. He is my mentor. So we do have monthly check-ins, and I had a check-in with him on this day. So I used a clock icon from the Scrub Prince Co. Multicolor to mark my check-in with him. Hi. You're cute. Yes, you are. I know. You need to go outside. Hold on. And then last but not least, on Friday, or Saturday, I took another one of those squared off boxes and a, a Bodhi that's like kind of stressed out to mark a busy night at work. I don't get stressed out when it's busy. But, like, I feel like all the characters that I use are all, like, crazy stressed out just because I don't have any other way of marking it. So, yeah, we had a busy night at work, which wasn't terrible. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to say something else, and I'm just getting distracted by the dog that is in my room. I'm, I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. Um, moving on to Saturday, if Filming Lindsay will hurry up and write down some things. Come on. Come on, Filming Lindsay. There we go. You got it. You got it. You, you a little slow, but we, we, we got it. It's fine. Um, moving on to Sunday, I put down the work label. And then I need I did need to go to CVS for a couple of things. So um, I used a dollar sign icon again from Scribble Prince Co. to mark that. I'm assuming I had to get like eyeliner and stuff because I probably ran out. That's the only time I ever go to CVS is for eyeliner. Like legit, that's the only time I ever go to CVS. I usually would go to Walgreens instead, but... CVS sells, like, NYX products, and Walgreens does not, or at least Walgreens does not sell my eyeliner, and I use a NYX waterproof eyeliner. Fun fact, if anyone's curious. Um, and, yeah, that's the only reason why I ever go to CVS is purely just because they have my eyeliner, and I probably just needed eyeliner, and I wrote the CVS too far over, so I then erased it, or whited it out, and then rewrote it again. And then underneath that, I needed to plan out future spreads, so this kind of goes back to my question at the beginning. I do plan out the spreads, like, a decent amount in advance. That's also how I know how many spreads I need. That way I'm not over-purchasing spreads. Um, but I did use a munchkin and a fancy label to mark that. And then I used a present icon to mark that I bought an Ewok succulent, which was for Eliza for her birthday, which is really cute. It's a little hand-painted Ewok succulent holder. That is from um, Etsy, or it's off of Etsy. Why is my nose so stuffed up right now? I'm sorry. I don't know what's happening with me right now. I just woke up, and it's probably because I just woke up. And my nose is just angry. It's fine. 
Um, we're almost done. We're, we're almost there. <laughs> and then underneath that, I listened to the Dear Evan Hansen soundtrack, which is my all-time favorite. Well, it's not my all-time favorite, but it's one of my favorites. Um, I really want to go see the show. It's the one show I haven't seen, but I've listened to the soundtrack of. And I really want to go see it. I really, 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 really do. But, like, when it was, like, in my state, it sold out so quickly. But I'm like, I want to go watch it. I want to go see it. Um, but, yeah. I listened to the Dear Evan Hansen soundtrack. I also thought that I spelled Hansen wrong. So, I then, like, looked it up on my phone. was like, did I spell Dear Evan Hansen wrong? But I spelled it correctly. We are good. Um, but I used the Fox and Cactus Girl with some headphones to mark that. And then, like I said, I was in a fall mood. So, I used a... See, this is me looking it up. Like, did I spell it correctly? Did I not? I did. It's fine. Um, but I was in a fall mood, so I used an emoji that's, like, with a scarf and has leaves all over it, or, like, next to it to mark that I was in a fall mood. I wrote this really far over. I'm not entirely sure why I wrote it so far over, but I did, so I then had to move that emoji over. Um, I think I was just expecting to, like, have to write more. I don't know why, because none of these words were really long. Um, but... Yeah, it looks a little, the spacing on it looks a little weird, but that's okay. And then last but not least, I had a friend's binge, so I used a munchkin that is watching TV and is sitting on the couch to mark that. See? You see me how I had to, like, move it over? Yeah. Um, so yeah, that is going to be everything for this plan with me. While I fill out the last of that, I might ask answer one more question. Let's see, is there a quick question? Oh, um, so Erica Marie Plan said you recently said you bought a car. Congratulations. Thanks. Uh, what type of car did you end up getting? I ended up getting a 2020 Ford Fusion. Um, fun fact, my family and I are big Ford fans. I'm not entirely sure why, but we've always had like Ford cars. Um, it's me flipping what's left in the kit, but we've always had Ford cars. So I had a Ford Focus before I had the Fusion. Also, my camera cut me off, so I apologize for you guys not seeing the rest of the kits. Um, but we're going to do a wiggle. But I did get a Ford Fusion purely just because I wanted a Ford still, but I didn't want a full SUV. So we got a 2020 Ford Fusion. So that is everything for this plan with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, give it a thumbs up. I'm sorry it was all over the place, um, but leave me some kind of comment down below. Leave me more questions if you guys have them, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already to see the rest of Plamis, and I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye, guys!